Hello, I'm James, this is Maths Kitchen, and this is the third instalment in my 20 Ways to Succeed in Your Maths GCSE. Last week, we were looking at mock exams and how you can use the results of those to really sort of boost the start of your journey towards succeeding in those exams. Uh, this week, I want to address a question that I hear quite often. In fact, somebody was asking this in the comments to last week's video, and really it comes down to sort of answering three things, I suppose. How often should I be revising? Um, when should I start my revision and how long should I be revising for? So is it best to be, you know, set aside a couple of hours just to work solidly through a past paper, for example, or on your maths homework, or should I be doing little and often? Okay, so I'm gonna answer that in a moment. Then I'm gonna give you some specific sort of advice about how you can act on the advice I'm gonna give you today. So you can finish watching this video and then go and do some work, get started, and I'll show you exactly what you can be doing. So first off, to answer the question, I would say without a doubt, little and often is the best way forward. If you can do 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, that is definitely better than sort of telling yourself, I'm gonna do three hours on Sunday, or do you know, I don't need to start yet because I'm just gonna absolutely work my socks off at half term or whatever. Right, those ways tends, what often happens is that on Sunday or in half term or whatever, you don't do as much as you'd anticipated. But also, you, you know, you've got to look after your mental health as well. And it, that can be stressful if you put that pressure on yourself, oh, I've got to do two hours on Sunday. Um, and then if you get behind, you can get anxious, all those sorts of things. Much, much better, just a little bit every day. That way you can keep on top of it. It's not stressful. You know that you're doing some really valuable good work and you're moving towards success, moving towards that target grade. Hopefully we'll even exceed your target grades if you follow all the advice that I'm giving you and put in this extra work yourself. So we're gonna practice as regularly as we can, most days if possible, but not for hours and hours. 10, 20 minutes a day is absolutely fine. And we're gonna start as soon as possible. In fact, after this video, go and start your practice straight away. So the question is then, where can you practice? What resources are available? There's, there's obviously my website, which I'll talk about in a moment, um, but there are loads of other ways that you could be doing this. Uh, one other really good website is Corbett Maths. He has a five a day section where you can have a look at questions depending whether you're foundation or higher. Have a go at those. They'll be on sort of different topics um, and then you can check your answers to see whether you got them right. We've got a similar kind of thing on our website, it's called the Daily Workout, and it will give you a, a selection of questions um, on lots of different topics. You type in your answers and you can see whether you've got them right or not. Um, and I've got videos as well that can help you, you know, if you get questions wrong and model answers and things like that. So it's a really, really useful feature. There is a, another advantage to this type of revision. Um, in fact, two advantages. The first is that you might have found when you did your mock exam that you didn't do quite as well as you'd hoped. And you know, it often happens, so don't, don't panic if that happened. But the reason might have been is that when you learn stuff in a maths lesson, your teacher will tell you, right, today we're solving equations and here are some questions on solving equations. Obviously an exam's not like that. You've got all these different questions. It's not telling you what skills you need to apply to all those different questions to solve them and to answer them. Um, and that's something that doing this daily practice really helps you to develop that skill of working out what, you know, what is this topic and what is the skill I need to answer this particular question. It's quite difficult, that skill, developing that and learning that. And it just comes with practice, okay? So this is brilliant for that. The other great advantage of doing sort of five kind of random questions or, you know, a half a dozen random questions is that it gets you to visit lots of different subjects that you may well have forgotten otherwise, okay? And revisiting them all frequently, but just for a little bit at a time, is a great way of getting it into your memory, okay? And helping you remember that stuff for the future. So that's my advice today, little and often, and get started immediately. As soon as you finish this video, go and have a go at some work. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It's really, really helpful for the channel and to help to spread the word. Give the video a like also if you haven't done so. And why not have a look at some of the other videos. If you didn't see last week's, you could go back and have a look at that. Otherwise, thank you very much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next installment in this series.